evening news at four. Two men are facing charges this evening for a crime spree that took the life of a southwest side man killed while hanging up Christmas lights. It left more than a dozen people injured across the city. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ben Bradley. And I'm Lourdes Duarte. In court today, both men were ordered held without bond. Prosecutors accused the pair of driving around the city on a violent spree just weeks before Christmas. WGN's Megan Dwyer has been following this story. She joins us live from the newsroom. Megan? Ben, Lourdes, today the judge said the facts in this case shock the conscience. During a five-hour period on a Saturday in December, they robbed and beat people all over the city, including a family with a four-year-old in inside the car and a postal worker. They wreaked havoc committing multiple robberies and attacking multiple people. On December 11th, prosecutors say 20 year old Pedro Mendiola and 23 year old Moises Barrios terrorized communities from the south side to the north side, taking a crowbar and baseball bat to brutally beat and rob people. People just walking down the street, driving, doing everyday things. What can only be decried as a senseless, violent murder. But it's not just the murder of Mr. Tejas. There were 14 victims involved in this spree. In addition to armed robbery, they now face murder charges for killing 49-year-old Jose Tejas outside of his Gage Park home while he was hanging Christmas lights. His 14-year-old daughter watched from inside the home in horror. Unfortunately, the daughter heard the screams and saw on the window what was happening and tried to get her brother to help. By that time, the defendants had already uh, beaten the victim to death and had fled the scene. Today in bond court, prosecutors told the judge the men had texted each other that day to meet up. They drove Barrios's mother's car down the streets of Chicago, armed with a baseball bat and a crowbar. They filmed video of themselves on that joyride while they stopped random people, asked for their money, and then beat them senseless, often after they had gotten what they wanted. As the 911 calls piled up, it took police a while to figure out all 14 incidents were related. I really want to thank the detective. Uh, the officers who did a remarkable job getting these guys before they had a chance to get away or destroy any evidence which may not have led to charges. So Today, state's attorney Kim Fox joined police in a joint press conference about the charges, insisting police and the state's attorney's office have a good working relationship. Despite allegations, she hasn't been tough enough on crime. But both men were on bond for other crimes the day of these attacks, and both have a history of not showing up to court. This is a horrendous crime, and we stand here united to say that we will not allow such atrocities to happen in Gage Park. In an interview with police, Mendiola claimed robbing people was Barrios's idea. He says he made a mistake and he regrets it, but Christmas was around the corner and he had no money for his kids. He claims he told Barrios to stop hitting Jose Tejas, but he did not listen. Police say they do have DNA and fingerprint evidence in this case on the bat and the crowbar linking both of these men to all of these crimes. Lourdes. All right, thank you so much. Megan Dwyer in the newsroom for us.